Welcome back to this discussion on Amazon LightSail. If you're a regular user of AWS, or even if you keep reading about AWS, I'm sure you must have come across the word Amazon LightSail. It's a product that has been launched very recently by AWS. It's a product that has gained a lot of traction. A lot of people are actually talking about LightSail. What is LightSail all about? What are the technical specifications? How can you use it? What are the use cases for LightSail? We'll discuss all of this in this video. Let's begin. All right, so what is LightSail? Well, Amazon LightSail is an easy way for developers to get started with a simple virtual private server solution. If you've never heard about virtual private servers, they are basically virtual machines which can be used for a variety of use cases like hosting a website, running an application, or um, you know, hosting an e-commerce website, and so on. So these are virtual machines which are private for you and that's why we call them as virtual private servers. So LightSail provides compute, storage and networking capacity and capabilities to deploy and manage websites and web applications in the cloud. LightSail includes everything you need to launch your project quickly like a virtual machine, SSD based storage, data transfer, DNS management and a static IP. I'm going to show you all of this live in just about a couple of minutes. LightSail is best suited for projects that require a few virtual private servers and users who prefer a simple management interface. Common use cases for LightSail include running websites, web applications, blogs, e-commerce websites, simple software, and more. Essentially, it's a quick way for you to get started with your own private server. Instead of worrying about managing the infrastructure, you can just focus on your task, which could be your website, your application, and so on. Think of it like EC2, but managed EC2. LightSail offers a range of operating systems and application templates that are automatically installed when you create a new LightSail instance. Just like we have EC2 instances, we have LightSail instances. Application templates include WordPress, Drupal, Joomla, Magento, Redmine, LAMP, Nginx, Mean, Node.js, and more. LightSail is available in 44 availability zones and 16 regions globally. When you purchase LightSail, you actually have to purchase a plan. A plan consists of a predefined set of items. So a LightSail plan includes a virtual server with a fixed amount of memory or RAM and compute, virtual CPUs, SSD-based storage or disks, and a free data transfer allowance. LightSail plans also offer static IP addresses, which is five per account, and DNS management, which is three domain zones per account. And LightSail plans are charged on an hourly on-demand basis, so you only pay for a plan when you're using it. Everything that we do on the LightSail console can also be done with an API call. And this is consistent with pretty much all the AWS services. Every LightSail instance automatically gets a private IP address and a public IP address, which is reachable from the internet. We can use the private IP address to send data to other LightSail instances and AWS resources in private for free. If you want to access the LightSail instance from the internet, we can use a public IP. The public IP address changes when you reboot your instance. If you'd like to have a fixed IP address, we can use the static IP option. With LightSail, you can also map your registered domain names, such as example.com, to the public IP of your LightSail instance. So if you're hosting a website, you'd obviously want to map your IP address to your domain name. And that is possible in LightSail. To use a domain in LightSail, you must first register it. And this happens using Route 53. LightSail also allows you to create snapshots. If you've been using AWS EC2, snapshots should not be a new concept. Snapshots can be used to back up your data within LightSail. These snapshots can be used to create a new LightSail instance. I have a dedicated video 
in which I talk about volumes and snapshots in detail. You can find a link to that video in the description section of this video. Each light sale plan also comes with free data transfer allowance, which is about 1 TB for the most basic plan. Alright, now let's look at all of this in action. So I'm going to dive into the AWS console. Alright, so I'm at the AWS console and I'm going to first navigate to LightSail, which can be found in the compute section over here. Alright, I've logged in and it says welcome to LightSail. Let's get started. I'm going to click on that. Right now it says the instance location is London Zone A. I'm going to change that to Mumbai because that's where I am. So I'm going to change it over to AP South 1A. And the default availability zone is AP South 1A, which is zone A, which is good. Next, we can pick the instance image. So we have two platforms available, one for Windows and one for Unix. Windows platform has three blueprints, while the Unix platform has 15 blueprints. I'm going to first select this one, Microsoft Windows. For operating system only, we have uh, Windows 2012 server and Windows 2016 server. For application plus operating system, we have the SQL Server 2016 Express Edition. Next, I'm going to select this one, Unix, which has a lot of blueprints. So if I go to OS only, you can see that we have Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, Debian, FreeBSD, and OpenSUSE. For apps plus OS, we have WordPress, LAMP, Node.js, Joomla, Magento, Mean, Drupal, GitLab, Redmine, and Nginx. And I believe they will be adding more to this list. Right now, I'm going to select this one over here for WordPress. Come down over here. We can put a launch script or a startup script. Right now, I'm not going to do that. We can also change the SSH key pair. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to download my key pair just in case I need to log into that instance. All right, I'm going to say save file. That's done. And down over here, we can select the instance plan. So we have plans starting from $5 all the way up to $80 per month. And the first one is free for the first month. With this, we get about 512 MB of RAM, one virtual CPU, 20 gigs of SSD, and 512 GB of data transfer. Which is not bad when you just want to try out and experience light sale. So I'm going to select this one over here, $5 per month. Give a nice name to your instance. Right now, I'll leave it at the default and click on Create. That will launch my LightSail instance. All right, after about a minute or so, it has now moved into the running state, but I believe it is still not ready to be connected. We can try that. Here's the option called Connect. If I click on that, or if I try this one over here, click on connect or we could also try this one connect it says login failed if this instance has just started up try again in a minute or so so it does take about a couple of minutes to be ready before you can start connecting I'm gonna wait for a couple of minutes all right after waiting for about a couple of minutes it's now ready so I can click on connect and there we have it we are now connected to the console of the LightSail instance. Since this is a WordPress instance, I should be able to connect with the browser as well. I'm going to take that public IP address from here and I'm going to open up a private window and try to access that over HTTP. Fantastic, I am now connected. If you need the login page, we can go up over here and we can say forward slash wplogin dot PHP. There you go. To get the username and password, we can look at the AWS documentation. They have specific instructions on how you can get the username and password for this LightSail instance. We can also create a static IP and assign it to the LightSail instance because otherwise what happens is if you stop the instance and you restart it, the IP address is going to change because it's a public IP. If you don't want the IP address to change, we can create a static IP and assign it over here. Over here, we also have the option to configure DNS zones. 
and then we can also find the snapshots over here. Alright, so that's about LightSail. Really nice feature, really easy to use, and easy to get started. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because I have a lot of videos coming up for you. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.